Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry for the here, and I just wanted to do a quick speed test of my new MacBook Pro that I just got yesterday. Um, this is the 4 gigabyte RAM, um, 2, 250 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, we'll go into about this Mac. You guys can see here, um, 2.4 2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Dual Processor, 250 gigabyte hard drive, 4 gigabytes of RAM, um, and all that stuff right there. Um, a lot of people have asked me this question that is there really that big of a speed difference when launching applications? So I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm going to be launching applications that are native to this Mac. And you guys can see for yourself if there's really a difference. And if you think it's worth upgrading. Um, and this was, I bought this in Canada. So this was around $1,500 with tax and everything. So if that helps, $1,500 with tax and everything like that. So we'll get started. First application we're going to open is, let's open up System Preferences. This is kind of like the settings of Mac, and it's, as you can see, just one click, super fast. And now I'll show you guys Safari. Um, again, this depends on your internet connection mostly, but mine's pretty fast right now, so as you can see, that was really fast. Scrolling is really smooth, as expected, and we'll go into my YouTube channel right here. As you can see, really, really fast, really no time at all, almost. So that's really good. Now I'm going to show you guys Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, again, none of these are running in the background, as you can see. Now that we're running, so we'll just open up Microsoft Word, and you guys can see how long it takes to launch. And that's it, it's done. That's how fast it is. Next, we'll open up Microsoft PowerPoint, and it's done. Microsoft PowerPoint is also done. That was really fast. iTunes, iTunes takes forever on Windows for me. This is already done right there. We'll open up iMovie, this is kind of like Windows Movie Maker, but for Mac, it's a lot better than that because it has a lot more features, and it is already done. Next thing we're going to open up is, we'll open up Tweety, a Twitter client. Again, this depends on your internet connection. And that is done. So as you can see, really, really fast. Everything just launches really flawlessly. And I think that's all I'm going to be showing you guys. Now, let's, now, you might be thinking, okay, so many applications running in the background, so it'll probably be slow and laggy, right? Well, it's not going to be laggy at all. So, four finger swipe to go, to, go into this expose mode. As you can see, I can go into anything and I can type whatever I want. Then I can go go back, start a project right here, and I can go back. And I can see that's well, that's actually for the same thing. I can actually start a new movie here. So we're just going to import. If I have any movies on here, I don't even think I have any movies. But if I did, I could import it. Uh, it would be no problem. You can go into iTunes, look through all your music and stuff like that. And if you're and if you need to go on the internet really fast, just go on it. And I could even load up a YouTube video right now, and I know it won't be, it won't take that time, time at all. So let's load it up right here. We'll load up, so open up, load up the new ad, and we'll mute that. And as you can see now, this is running in the background as well, and you're doing everything really fast with no lag. So you can make it all go away, make it all come back. There's absolutely no lag at all. Everything's just super fast. You can even use the expose this mode. Um, you can just switch between applications super easily, and even like multitask. So that's kind of that should give you guys kind of an idea of how fast or how how it can handle multitasking and how many applications you can have open at once. I guess um, there is absolutely no lag. You have to trust me on that. No lag at all when switching through applications, even if you have a lot open. So that's kind of a good thing, I guess. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching this quick video. I just wanted to do a little. I just wanted to try a screen full as well. I just got it. And it's really cool so far. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, do you guys, if you guys want more Mac tutorials, leave a comment below, and I'll definitely do more. Uh, and that's basically it. Thanks for watching this quick video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.